Hi, this is Rich Formadoni from Korg. Today we're in the studio with the PS60 Performance Synthesizer. It's well known for sounding great and being very portable, but it also has some unique features that let you create splits and layers on the fly. You can do that during performance without missing a beat. Let's take a look. This easy setup text really describes the core concept of the PS60. Here we've organized the sounds into six categories. Acoustic piano, which we can quickly access with this on button. Electric pianos. Organs. Strings. Brass. And synth sounds. One nice thing to know is that the synth category doesn't just have synth sounds in it. For each one of these categories, you can actually cycle through different sounds using the up and down buttons located just above the on button. So here as we cycle through, we can hear different synth pads. And if we keep cycling through, we can get away from the pads, get into some bells, some basses. and all kinds of other sounds as well. If I want to, I can quickly cycle through sounds just by turning this dial right below the display. Now, we also have six white dials just above each one of these categories. So what these do is let you adjust the individual volumes of the categories, category of sound that you've selected. So for my synth sound, I can adjust here without affecting the acoustic piano. Now another great feature of the PS60 is how quickly you can combine the sounds. So I'm going to push acoustic piano and strings at the same time. And if I want the strings to be a bit less prominent, I can turn them down without affecting the piano. And you can layer more than two sounds together at once. If I want acoustic and electric piano along with the strings, just press all three of those buttons. And I might want to select a different electric piano here. So I can just use the up-down buttons to choose one. Just to the left of these buttons is the split settings area. Here we have sub-off, recall, lower, and upper. These are going to let me quickly create splits. So what I'm going to do is press the lower button and then press the synth button. So now I have a bass in the uh, lower half of the keyboard. Now I'll press upper and press piano and strings at the same time. Also, if I need to change where the split point is, I can do so by pushing both the lower and upper buttons at once. Now I just press a new key, and the split is done. If you want to disable the split altogether, you can push the sub-off slash recall button. Also, if you notice, Audition is written just below the sub-off recall and lower buttons. If you select a single sound, say an electric piano, and push both of these buttons together, you get a quick example of how that sound might be used. Once you've saved your split or layer the way you like it, with the proper mix settings and instrument selections, you can store it in one of these locations. There are five locations within four banks, so you have a total of 20 locations to save to. Just press the Store button, choose a bank, then choose a performance location, and press Store again. In our next video, I'll show you how to use the modulation effects, reverb and delay, and EQ to customize the sound even more. Be sure and visit korg.com slash ps60 for more information. Thanks for watching.